think everything's been set up for us. Thank hey y'all, Rev Tommy Two Tone. Rick the Village Chalidia. Here we are in the hot sauce underground. Yes, indeed. Third episode of the sauce contest. Third, number three. So let's get ready. You've got the hat. Tell us what numbers. We'll put. Go ahead. I'll hold the hat. You put the numbers in there and call them out to us. We have number bottle number eleven. We have bottle, bottle, number, bottle number eleven. Bottle number eight. Bottle number eight. We have bottle number ten. Bottle number ten. We have bottle number fifty-one. No, I'm just kidding. It's bottle number fifteen. Bottle number fifteen. And the last and final one will be bottle number four. Bottle number four. And these are all officially in the hat. Tom is going to shake them up. Here. Yes, I'm going to turn. On. Let me make sure they're really good and mixed up because we don't, you know, everybody's going to get a chance, but we just want them to have a chance. I know. I know where they're chosen. Are you ready to stick your hand in here? I'm ready. I'm kind of kind of get creeped out though. We're in the we're in the underground. You never know what's gonna come up behind us. You got that right. Here we go. I'm gonna watch around this corner. First bottle of the day is gonna be number eight. Number eight is gonna be the first bottle. Number eight, you Ooh. are gonna be tested first today. All right. All right. Choose the second one. Let me check. Them. Shake them up, baby, right, again. Got another dark sauce for the day, okay, buddy. Here we go. Sometimes you gotta go to dark places to get to what's good. The next bottle we're doing today is going to be number four. Number four, you are being chosen today. Four for, and eight okay. are the two numbers for the day, ladies and gentlemen. All right, here we go. Well, let's go ahead and start out with number um, number eight. Let's do number eight. Number eight. Let me tell you what's in number eight. Tell number eight has it, ginger, sage, dill, garlic, onion, soy sauce, miso paste, lemongrass, salt, pepper, bacon, red wine vinegar, rice wine vinegar. Sounds good. It it does, but if they're listed in the order that they're put in there, ginger's the top ingredient. That's going to be some weird tasting sauce. But I think it's just one of those deals where they listed the ingredients. Correct. And and that's one thing that I guess uh, new hobby sauce makers may not know. I don't know who this is, but that you list your ingredients uh, uh, in order. Correct. Starting with the one that has the most. Uh, we didn't really specify that, so it's well. Not, that's not a rule. No. I mean, no, we're not. I'm not going to worry about it. They just listed the ingredients that are in this, so that's what we're going to do is taste it and see. Sounds delicious. Uh, it's got to a lot me. of crazy ingredients in it. I'd that's be interested for to see sure. what the pH of it is. Um, hey man, let me tell you something. You know something okay. I found out that's really strange. Let's check it out. While we're here in the underground, mm -hmm. you can surely hear some weird sounds in the underground. Listen. Oh, that was sealed very nice. Sealed very well. Okay. Good job. Get yourself a chip. Get a chip. Because this is not, you can tell it's not too thick. We've got a couple that are few that have been kind of thick, uh, but it's not, not too a, thin. So. That's good. Here we go. Let's see what it. Oh, I smell smokiness and, and oh my goodness. This. Mm. Ginger right off the bat. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. And the miso paste. Mm -hmm. It's very strong in there. Mm. I mean you smell the ginger. Mm-hmm. Mm. I'll tell you something mixing with it. I can taste the soy sauce very strong. I can with too. It. Smell that man. Mm. I uh don't say anything about peppers. No. Nope. On the ingredient list. But there's peppers in this. Yeah, there is. Not super hot at all. Mm. Miso paste, lemongrass, red wine vinegar, rice wine vinegar. Bacon. Beautiful ingredients. What peppers are in it? That's what I wanted to know. I'd like to, I'd like to know that too. Mmm. I do like it though. It's salty. Very salty. You know that comes from that soy sauce. It does. And but I like soy added. sauce and that's a oh, that's that's not bad, man. Um, do you have the papers? No, the papers are still off screen over here. Let me go get them for you. Or I get them. You get them? We, uh, we have the papers, and everything is just actually nicely set up for us down here in the underground. We've been here a couple of times, and every now and then we'll see Husu. Uh, haven't seen him around lately, but he helps us out when, when we're not down here. So uh, we now have uh, papers. Uh, do we have a pen to go with these papers? I do. Tom has a pen with him to go with these papers. These papers... Our, uh, our grading scale, 
and we are we just did number eight Tom I'm gonna let you give your grading scale first and then I will give mine I want to smell it again as well I like the smell of the ginger I smell soy sauce I do too and uh, we had another sauce earlier that had lemongrass in it as well I cannot taste any in this but that it is blended really well though and it's not real thick it's not real thin it's kind of, kind of in the middle but uh, I'm uh, I'm intrigued I am definitely intrigued Okay, we have the scores. We'll tally those up later. Um, we've decided that we're going to do the um, closing round at Little Jerusalem, or better known as Ave Maria Grotto. That's correct. Uh, we may even put a link in the description to Ave Maria Grotto. Go check it out. It's a very beautiful place. Yes, it's, it uh, is. It's where the city of Jerusalem and a lot of landmarks around the world, including the Vatican and all, That's were right. done in miniature by a monk at St. Bernard Abbey in Coleman, Alabama. Correct. So we'll ride up there and check that out, and, and it's beautiful. They let you film there, and so it's, it's, it's just gorgeous. And so we'll pay the fee, go in, and, and uh, do the very final there. And we'll bring you a, a we'll great review. come out of the underground for that. All right, Tom. Should we go ahead and break into the uh, second bottle here? I'd say so. Number like four? Number four. Fuel up in that one. Shake it up real good. It's kind of an orange color with uh, some little black flakes in it. I'm going to read the ingredients. Vine ripened tomatoes, mm. balsamic vinegar, mm. apple cider vinegar, mm. water, Vidalia onion, which mm. we like down here yes, in the south, do. fire roasted ghost peppers, nice pop. shallot, green onion, garlic, Dijon mustard, smoked paprika, ginger, dill, sage, black peppercorn, and salt. And I tell you, that sounds all also yummy and delicious to my to my ears right now. I want to smell this and taste it. Ooh, yeah, man. That 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 that, that smell right off the bat. I don't. I have to taste it. It kind of looks. It's a little less consistency of like applesauce, maybe. Um. Hmm. Hmm. How about that? Hmm. That's interesting. Very interesting. It's got a nice little kick to it. it does. That's the ghost pepper. I'm I'm 100% positive. Yeah, because it's it's not only is it hanging on, it's kicking in later. Hmm. Nice. But I like I like mustard Very hot. sauces. It is it is very hot. I smell the ginger. I taste the ginger. Man, I smell the mustard. I smell I smell a little bit of the vinegar in there, but I mean it's I smell the pepper a little bit and I smell the mustard, but I tell you what, this has got a nice little kick to it. I um that's your first spoon? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah, I had a spoon of it. It's really good. Mm. Both I, um, sauces right there again with the with the I mean just crazy good. It's got a nice upfront little kick with a twang with with the vinegar and then mm -hmm. you you taste the ghost and then it lingers but it doesn't take your breath away it doesn't kill you it's not a oh my goodness so burning but it's a very enjoyable flavor. It is. I'm uh I like this one. Go ahead and score it. I did. I'm gonna go ahead and give uh my score here. That's my score right there. Okay, we're going to total those up later. Um, I want to get out of the underground, don't you? I do too. It, sometimes in the underground, you think it's really cool and really uh, and really nice and temperature controlled. Yeah, but there's skylights up there, and they're burning us up because they're kind of like a magnifier. Okay. So yep. um, 
It's getting hot right. in the underground. So Real Tommy Two Tone. This is Rick, the Village Chalitti. We'll We're see, gonna see you on the next uh, Hot Sauce Underground episode. This is episode three. We'll see you on episode four. Episode four. Two and more. The, that's right. And then the the competition will that's be right. over. Well, no, we got three more for the competition. Oh yeah, we got three more. Three more uh, sauces. Right. We and may do all final. those at once, you know. Well, That's right, knows? we could. We very well could. Who knows what Right we'll now, do. we're concerned about finding right. our way out of the underground. That's right. Later. So, peace out, everybody.